Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Good, 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 good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you guys are doing so good today. All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm empty nesting, guys. That's why I'm talking to you like your little puppy dogs. Okay. No, but seriously. Um, so, I am um, wanting to make a little announcement. I don't know if I talked about this before or not, but um, here it is. So I'm working on the fourth um, Hank Bradshaw book. Um, Hank Bradshaw is my, um, what do you call it, uh, hard-boiled um, 1950s into the 60s um, hard-boiled dick. Um, so all the Dead Dame books. So we had Dead Dame in a Trunk, Dead Dame Walking, and Dead Dame on the Floor. And this one, I think um, I'm calling it uh, Dead Dame Curse. And um, yeah, there's been like four titles that I could choose. And I'm kind of leaning on that one right now more than the others because it has kind of a, um, a double meaning. Um, so it's one of those things, but, um, I'm about 10 chapters in right now and the, um, I'm hoping the book will be done like my, um, draft of it, like the first pass of it will be done next week. So, um, I'm going to be putting up the first chapter um, on my Patreon for um, my patrons to take a look at it and check it out. Um, it's kind of a interesting little thing for me. It's weird because I haven't written like long form fiction in probably like six years um, and finished it. So, um, and I'm already farther along in this than, um, anything else, maybe five years. Yeah, maybe five years, but I'm already farther along in this than, um, I've been in any other, uh, venture like this lately. So I think the break was good, um. And then not only the break being good, but being away from it long enough and then rereading all the books uh, really helped me understand uh, things about the character that I feel <clears throat> like I knew, but I'm not sure if it came across that way to the reader. Um, so there's like little tweaks that I feel like I have to make in um, moving forward. But, and that's the other thing that's kind of cool about eBooks. And so this is if you're not doing paperbacks, but with eBooks, um, you can, if there's something that isn't working or just like a line that sounds clunky, you can go in and change it. Like you, you don't want to change the entire whatever of a book. But, um, and in going through the books, I found a few lines that were kind of clunky. And so I'm going to be going in and um, changing those up. <clears throat> and um, I'll wait until like I'm solid on the edits, the final edits of the books. Um, before I put the paperbacks in. But if you are a ebook shopper, um, if you go to Amazon and um, look up Dead Dame Walking, Dead Dame whatever, Matt Wall, um, it would probably be better if you put Matt Wall Dead Dame because um, until I get better search engine results on Amazon, if you type my name in, um, you will end up with paint. So, um, yes. So there's that. Um, but I do want to recommend for any of you out there who maybe wrote a novel or, um, 
a series of short stories with um, the same character or something like that. And say you wrote it a little bit ago. Um, if you've taken enough time away from it, I highly recommend you go back and read through it um, and just see how it is. Because, I mean, there were moments where I was... Like, one of the books, I couldn't remember... <clears throat> I couldn't even remember how the book ended. And um, I was just like, fuck! Like, I totally, like, blew my own mind with my own shit. So if that is not self-fellatio, I don't know what is. So um, that's a thing, apparently. And... Um, but yeah, go back and look over your stuff because I guarantee you will, I mean, it's been years since I did the Hank Bradshaw book. So um, it's definitely intriguing and I'm so stoked because after I do this, um, I'm either going to do the gavel or Hitman Black or... Um, I, I can't remember which one. I have a... Um, like a board of what my schedule has to be like now. And um, so I'm, I'm telling you, it is so good to go back over it with a fresh set of eyes. It's like, it's, I don't know. It's crazy. Like I don't even remember writing half of that book or actually all three of those books, but I remember like parts I usually remember how the book starts. Um, and actually, that's not true for the first book. I did not remember how that book started. but um, And I just saw little things in it that I'm like, mm, if I were writing that now, I wouldn't have done that. And then that's up to you if you want to change little bits like that, um, like things that sound clunky or whatever, just sound odd. Um <clears throat> But man, I, I just got so excited. And the thing that drives me crazy about this is that I have two other Hank Bradshaw novels that I started writing way back when. And one of them is 11 chapters in and one of them is eight chapters in. And um, I'm not writing either one of those right now. I found a short story that I thought was really cool that I wrote half of. And then I'm like, Oh, this would make a great novel. And, um, so I'm doing that. So anyway, so if you run over to Patreon, um, sometime this week, I will be posting the first chapter of that. And if you're on Patreon, um, you get discounts on all my stuff. So just like message me and tell me and I will make sure you get everything. Um, if you are a part of Kindle Unlimited, I believe you get everything. I believe so. Um, and, and if not, you will next month or starting next month, you will. Um, but also if any of you have been doing anything with Kindle Vela, um, I would love to hear how that's going for you because I was doing serials on Amazon before Amazon was doing serials on Amazon. So um, I'm really interested in how that's working out. I know I can't take any of my um, newer serials over there or my older serials over there, but um, I'm kind of interested in writing some new stuff for that. So let me know down below what you think and all that other stuff, and I will talk to you. Go to ahaymatwell.com later.